Okay? Can you find the brightest light? Definitely that one. Okay? Anybody have a different opinion? The window? That's a good one. Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Uh, that's very good. Okay. But that, that actually wasn't the point, but that's absolutely right, okay? These are really bright too, aren't they? They exact, they, it is hard, it is really difficult to look straight into them. So can you imagine, <laughs> excellent. Can you imagine, right, a light that shines for all mankind and how bright that would be? The closest thing we have is the sun, right? The closest thing we have. But God created the sun. It's in the beginning, right? Everything was created through him. So his light is even brighter than that. How can we see him? How can we know him if his light is so bright? Even these are difficult to look into. Yeah. Okay. All right. You guys can sit down. Good job. Good job. So now we come to, having that question in mind, we come to flesh. Who's got something for flesh? The word flesh. Over here. Hold on one second. Let's get in the microphone. Sorry, no <laughs> Living creature. Living creature. All right. So this light, just, just in case, we have a personal hymn, and we have life, and we have light, and this light is the light of all men. Okay, and now we have him took on flesh. Became a living creature that we could know. Anybody else have something for flesh? Yes, right, right in, yep. in front of my yep. face. Jesus? G Jesus. And now we have John saying that the light took on flesh and tabernacled among us. Among us. That's good news. <laughs> Amen? That's good news. This is part of the message that we're talking about. Good news, the king has come. The light of all men. There's a big part of this light. Did you catch that the darkness cannot overcome it? Did you catch that? The darkness cannot overcome it. And when I read that this week, I just felt these two words just brew up within me and bring me such joy. And I just <laughs> lighten up. Lighten up. We all have trials and tribulations that we are going through. There are many that I'm counseling right now, facing the busyness of life and all sorts of dark shadows, and not just shadows, really dark things happening. Lighten up doesn't mean to take them lightly. Lighten up means to get with Jesus. When we are in the presence of the living God, even those dark things take on a different shape, a different color, because light dispels darkness. It, darkness can't overcome it. 